Are you frustrated with the lack of storage in Final Fantasy XIV Online? Well, I'm going to discuss that today, so go ahead and stick with me. Hello, my wolf pack. Thank you all for watching. Let's jump right to it. Now, there is definitely a lack of storage, and if you're a hoarder like I am, well, it's even worse because there aren't very many options in the game other than a potential, uh, for lack of better words, maybe let's call it a cash grab type situation. And rather than them being cash grab with, with one of the options that you have, maybe they could actually just give us more storage and put more things out to grab cash in the MOG station. I don't know. But let's go ahead and discuss the options that there are in the game. And, uh, you know, make sure you leave a comment and tell me if there's something I didn't put in here that there's another storage that maybe other players would benefit from hearing as well. So, the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is your actual inventory. Yes, I know that's very obvious, but we're gonna talk about all the ones that I know of, so that way if there's one that, again, you know of that I didn't put in here, you can leave it in the comments and actually help other players too by saying, hey, there's this. So, inventory space, you get 140 spaces. Now, I know I always sound like I walked a hundred miles in the snow with bare feet, um, you know, just to go to school kind of thing. But when I first started playing this game, you couldn't even stack things um, past a hundred or even, I, I, you know, it was like it, it was a small amount. So at least they did that. All right. So our next option is a free company chest. And if you're in a free company with a small group of friends, or maybe they're going to share the free company chest, there aren't that many slots or item slots open but there is that you could start your own free company and have that chest all to yourself but you do have to work up to getting all those slots open the next thing is a chocobo saddlebag you get 70 spaces in that and really 70 spaces you think wow that's you know it's a lot but I'm pretty sure we all know it's really not that much. They could even like double or triple that space for us with the chocobo. I mean, they're pretty strong. They can fly with us on them. Give us bigger saddlebags. <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to speak about is retainer inventory. And this is the actual cash grab situation that I'm talking about. And I, I you know, it's for lack of better words that I'm saying it that way. They make money off of the retainer inventory. And if you're a crafter in this game or a gatherer, then you know it's not much. You get two free retainers and then you would need to pay $2 per retainer beyond that up to, um, I think you can have an additional seven um, or something like that. For quite some time, I paid, you can see here, none in progress because the contract is suspended. I paid for an additional five retainers. That's $10 a month per year. Think about that. You're probably saying, well, $10 a month is nothing. Well, add it up for a year. That's $120. And then you add it up for however long you've been playing. For me, seven years. That's a lot of money they would have made off me in addition to my subscription and things like that. Now, you get five pages, 175 slots open per retainer. And again, if you're a crafter or a gatherer or even a hoarder <laughs> in the game, you know it's really not that much. Now, the thing is on the flip side, let's talk about the flip side of this. We could actually condense our inventory. They've made it possible for us to be able to go back to and salvage the salvager, like certain armors and gears and whatever, you know, if you have the, the ones that aren't diable or whatever from like your uh, level 50 quest, you know, job quest, 60, 70, that kind of thing. You can actually go back and salvage them should you want to use them. Now we're going to talk about the glamour chest and the armoire. The glamour chest, you know, they've given us 400 slots. I would love a thousand. I know that's greedy, whatever, but they've given us 400 slots and I have to go through and I have not done it yet. I just started doing it. I had it up to capacity and I'm trying to just go through and be realistic and say, okay, I don't really put this on any of my glamour items or whatever. I need to just remove it. And maybe this is the way to go for now. It is a storage problem in the game though. You know, just like there's also uh, housing, but that's another day, another video for another day. But, you know, here we are. There's certain tools even that you can use as a crafter or a gatherer that look so awesome and you're going to want to keep them as a glamour. Well, then you can put them in 
the armoire, there are certain blue items and white items that will fit in here, but not all blue and not all white. It's just, it's crazy. Let's open up even the armoire for all blue items and all white items. That would help out immensely. I mean, I don't know what the capacity is for this because I've never filled it to capacity because it's so limiting on what you can put in the armoire, right? So that's another way that they could open it up for us. And if they really need to make the cash, which, you know, they have great developers, great people that are working for them. They want to pay them. They want to make money. Any, anybody wants to make money, right? But how about making more items for us to want to buy to, to use as glamour items versus storage in the game? So... Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Or again, if there's anything I missed that you know of that you can use for storage, well, leave it in the comments. Now, if you stuck it through all the way to the end, just take the time every so often and watch one of the commercials on my videos because that's what helps me out. Remember to smash that like button, ring the bell to be alerted, and hit subscribe. Totally hit subscribe now. Now, do it. Thank you. Take care.